Welcome back to the garage guys. Well, we're going to start a new project today. We've had this project sitting on the back burner for a long time and we decided it's time to get it done. We're building the JD's Garage XL Plasma Table. A couple of the new features on this machine. One, like I've already said, it'll have a double driven, driven Y gantry. Uh, that gantry will also have auto squaring built into the electronics to make sure that both sides are moving in tandem to each other. Along with that, we'll have limit switches. I know a lot of guys have been asking for limit switches. Uh, all of the items, all the electronics that come from the uh, table itself into the control box will all be opto-isolated. That's a new feature. We will also have double captured bearing supports for the drive system on the belts. This table here is going to be a 4x4. Four four. It's about as big as we can handle. So we selected two pieces of tube to be the pair for the Y frame rail. And what we're going to do is use these connecting plates to center punch and drill our holes on here. But to make sure that they're parallel first, we're going to use one of the tubes from the other pair and just sandwich it in here and make sure everything's all parallel to each other. And now that I know these are parallel, I can line this plate up where it's going to be and clamp it down. And now we're going to use a transfer punch that uh, fits in the hole of these plates to transfer a center line mark there to punch the holes. And so I'm just going to tap all four of these holes and Everything should be all lined up. So I got the first set done of these Y frame rails and now I got to do the same exact thing on the other set of Y frame rails. Now that I've ever, we got everything marked and we have a pilot hole drilled, we're going to go ahead and drill them to final size of the bigger drill bits. We've got these four tubes drilled and they're all done now so now it's time to move on to the rest of the tubes in the frame. So we printed this little spacer here um, or a template to drill the holes in these pipes at the, the one inch and three inch mark and we're using a smaller transfer punch to transfer that so we'll go ahead and Slide this on the pot, pot on the tubes and get them uh, center punched and drilled and move on. So one of the things when doing this, we put the spacer on flat on this side, you know, to give us the proper dimension from the end. But we're not going to do that on that end. Uh, you could, but we need these to be identical, so if there's any variation in our cut length, it could be wrong, so we're actually going to measure from that center part, scribe a line, and then we'll slide this on to our scribed line so we get them exactly the same distance.
we've got all the tubes cut and most of the holes drilled for the whole frame. Um, we haven't drilled the holes for the y-axis rails yet to where they bolt to the rest of the frame because we need to decide between which pair, which one's gonna be the top and the bottom. And in order to do that, we need to build the bearing carriers first and then see which one rides better on the tube. So with the new double bridge gantry design, we don't need the triangle bracket, the top gantry plate supporting the cantilever arm right now. So we can just put that on there for our bridge gantry to bolt to. And then we're just using a extra piece of leftover tube to uh, put a standoff in so we get a little extra clearance. So we're gonna weld these two up. We have one here and then we have to make another one the opposite direction. So we stuck a little bit of blue tape on just to keep the pins from falling out as we adjust uh, the tension on the bearing blocks. But Jackson's gonna go ahead and slide that down the rail. We've got a little bit of a high spot that we can feel. Right there. So if you can see, we've taken the file to it a little bit already. But Jackson, if you wanna, if you wanna hit that with a flat file, you can see how it's kind of scuffing up a little more, taking off a high spot. Let's try it out now. Oh yeah, it feels a lot better. I can't even feel it when I put my weight on it anymore. So just a couple of passes with the file will take off any high spots you have in your tubing. So you want to check out which tubings are the straightest and the flattest, I guess. So you put your gantry assembly on a couple of them and you need to pick out which ones are going to work the best for you, the smoothest ones. So we've got the first one picked out for this set of bearing blocks and we'll move on. So we've got our Y-axis rail pairs picked. We know which one's gonna be the top and the bottom, and now we know which one's the bottom. We can drill our holes so we can bolt the frame together. So we've got all the parts made for the frame out here in front of me. We've got our bearing carriers to put together as well as the tubes that we decided they fit best with. So the next part is to bolt together the frame. So I've got all the parts laid down for the frame on the ground in the relative positions that they're gonna go. And I have all the parts labeled so I know they're the right pieces. And then I have the, uh, the main frame rails off to the side as those are gonna go in last. All we're gonna do this is we're gonna start by building this half of the frame first, and then we're gonna build the far half, and then we're gonna add the, uh, the main Y rails. So to do this, I've got six of these tube spacers that I'm gonna insert into all the places where they need to go. And then I got three of my bolts that should bolt all three of these tubes together and make a nice, strong connection.
we've got the bolted together frame here in front of me and you notice that we're missing the main, the main frame rails. Um, that's on purpose for now. Those are gonna go on later. The next thing we're gonna do is actually cut out these triangle brackets. And we're gonna do it with the plasma cutter because we have it already. You notice that this has bed lines in it made by the plasma cutter. So we don't have a break, so that'll give us a nice easy place to bend. And we're gonna bend them into something like this so they'll fit in. They'll fit in right in with here. And since we cut that material away with the plasma cutter to make it easier to bend, we're actually gonna run a bead down the inside of these with a welder. Okay, so we got the triangle brackets welded and we got one of them in place and then we're gonna use one of the self-tapping screws to just drill it into the frame and secure it. Okay, I finished putting in the rest of these screws off camera and the frame is nice and secure. Now that that's done, we could finally start to put the Y rail plates on, or the Y uh, main rails with these connecting plates. JD's Garage XL Plasma Table, you can see this nice sturdy frame. I'm just moving the whole frame there and it doesn't appear to be wobbling at all. These triangle brackets help a lot. So in the next video we're going to work on getting the gantry installed as well as the X and Z axes and then hopefully we can get the electronics and motors and belts working all in the next video and we can get this thing moving.